Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a great day. Now today, we got some important information on Biden's second stimulus check plan. As well as what Mike Pompeo said about the current state of our election. But first, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click the notifications bell, give this video a like, and leave a comment down below. Tell me how much you think our next stimulus check should be. Now let's hear what Mike Pompeo, the United States Secretary of State, said about the current election. There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. All right, we're, we're ready. The, the world is watching what's taking place here. We're going to count all the votes. When the process is complete, there'll be electors selected. There's a process. The Constitution lays it out pretty clearly. The world should have every confidence that the transition necessary to make sure that the State Department is functional today, successful today, and successful with the president who's in office on January 20th, a minute afternoon, will also be successful. I went through a transition on the front, and I've, I've been on the other side of this. I'm very confident that we will uh, do all the things that are necessary to make sure that the, the government, the United States government, will continue to perform its national security function as we go forward. Do you believe there's widespread voter fraud with the reports that we're getting from Pennsylvania, from Michigan, showing vote totals of massive needs or significant needs? with 99% reporting are going to be overturned and that the United States failed to conduct a fraudulent free election? Rich, I'm the Secretary of State. I'm getting calls from all across the world. These people are watching our election. They understand that we have a legal process. They understand that this takes time, right? It took us 37 plus days in an election back in 2000, conducted a successful transition then. I'm very confident that we will count, and we must count every legal vote. We must make sure that any vote that wasn't lawful ought not be counted. That dilutes your vote if it's done improperly. You gotta get that right. When we get it right, we'll get it right. There we have it, folks. That's what Mike Pompeo said about the current election. He said that he is ready for a second term of pre Now, who do you think our next president is going to be? Is it actually going to be Joe Biden, or will it be, surprisingly, President Trump? Leave your comments down below. Now this New York Times article goes into detail of what President-elect Joe Biden plans for the second stimulus package and the second stimulus check. Let's see what it has to say. The New York Times reports that President-elect Biden will take office in January with a weak economy, weighed down by the resurgence of the virus. Millions of Americans are still unemployed and businesses struggling and shuddering as winter bears down. Felicia Wong, who serves as an advisor on the Biden transition team, said that there's a tremendous amount that can be done without Congress. From finding ways to stimulate the economy, to changing trade rules to tinkering with corporate taxation, here are some of the ways that Biden presidency could unilaterally influence econ economic policy, according to the New York Times. First and foremost is stimulus. In the run-up to the election, Trump saw the limits of the White House's ability to jumpstart the economy. He repurposed some federal funds to temporarily extend expanded unemployment insurance, and allowed companies to defer collection of workers' payroll taxes, but found his fate, but found his hands largely tied beyond those measures. Economists and political advisors say that Biden could seek other creative approaches if a Republican Senate blocks the kind of big spending package the Democrats have always wanted. Biden could direct the Education Secretary to forgive student loans up to a certain amount. The administration could also use executive authority to raise the minimum wage for federal contractors to $15 an hour providing a pay boost for many thousands of workers. Biden will be able to exert some additional oversight over the $2.2 trillion stimulus package that passed back in March. For instance, small businesses that took Paycheck Protection Program or PPP loans are, were required to keep workers on payroll, and he can instruct his Treasury Department to more rigorously scrutinize the loans to ensure that the money was actually going to pay salaries and overhead costs. What do you think of Biden's plan so far? Do you think that Joe Biden will actually enforce his next stimulus plan and will he be able to recover the economy? Tell me what you think about President-elect Joe Biden in the comments down below. Yahoo Finance reports that President-elect Joe Biden's first stimulus plan may underwhelm by trillions. Biden's deal-making prowess will be put to an early test amid renewed stimulus talks during the transition period to the White House and then ultimately once he occupies the Oval Office. Strategists up and down Wall Street are placing their chips on Biden probably dealing with a Republican-controlled Senate and Democratic-led House. Only being able to get through a slimmed-down stimulus bill in the range of $500 billion to $1 trillion. A package of this magnitude would be well below the $3 trillion stimulus bill House Democrats passed in May. It would also be below the $2 trillion plan that Speaker Nancy Pelosi 
is willing to compromise on. It is expected that Biden will reveal more details of his response plan this week. Negotiations on the eventual stimulus bill between Democrats and Republicans will be on the agenda. Will be on the agenda. The CARES Act that passed back in March was the first stimulus package intended to help those financially affected by the pandemic. One of the most popular aspects of the act was a stimulus check of up to $1,200, sent to over 160 million Americans. That's according to AS News. And by the way, did you receive your first stimulus check? Tell me if you did in the comments down below. With that being said everybody, that is the end of the video. I hope everyone found this video useful. And before you go, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click the notifications bell, give this video a like, and until next time, have a great day.